going upstairs. That's what we do because we got our tools to fix the camera. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. No loading screen to just load up in the attic. Yeah. Hmm, I don't feel right uh, doing that little TV thing since it had consequences. But I think it's alright. Where's that bird? It's still up there. Oh, Mr. Bird, I want to take a picture of you, but you won't let me. Huh. If I close it, then he can't get out. Joyce still works at the diner. Is her husband a cop? I already checked here. Poor what am I doing? Let me get out of here. Alright. Hello. Let's turn the music off. Is she asleep? No. Tools! Oh. I didn't believe Chloe was my BF back when I was old. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. <laughs> Yay. I need to be delicate when you're fixing the camera. She can't do it. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah. I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> right. Nice too. Wait. That's you, Mr. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? What? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Yeah. Now tell me the truth, Max. Yeah, I was there. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you were a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Um, I wasn't sure. sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Um. What was it again? I don't exactly remember. <laughs> it's been a while. But let's go up just a bit. Just a bit? There's no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money. Drugs. But that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Tell anybody? Uh, did I? Oh no. Wait. I told that one guy, but I, I didn't tell him about the conversation. I only told him about the gun. Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. Oh but yeah, you right. Seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cats at Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. I swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Wonderful. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can't. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. Yes. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's rack this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that phony white ass. Oh. Or take my picture <laughs> with your new camera.
And now we've got a new camera. Oh, right, that, that makes sense. This song's fucking rules. Can't dance with me? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, man. Oh, God. Dude, the music's not even on! Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Dude, why? Why does he gotta be such a dick? Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? I'm the closet. I place to hide now. The closet. I'm coming. You know, I did a lot of bad shit in here. I feel bad. I feel extremely bad. Oh my god. I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? Shit. Where do I hide? Oh my god. Bruh. Let me rewind. Ouch. I'm coming. Okay, okay. One second. My bra is stuck. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so freaking paranoid. Yeah, calm down. We'll do that for you. One of my guns is missing. What? Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been choking up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You're tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Who is it? Um, ah. Uh, shit. Why must this game do this to me? Ah. Uh, stay in. I think that's, what, that's what you want. Like hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, but now. Bruh, what the fuck? Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother, and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time, or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're not that. Smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step juices of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway. Peek out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hip hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? I'm kinda curious, but I don't think I want that. I, I missed my opportunity to take a picture of the bird. I'm sad. Because I hadn't realized that I didn't have a camera. The entire time I had been in this house, and you know, yeah, I'm dumb. If I will go out through the window, being step dick is not on the agenda. Yep, yeah, let's go. Oh my god, why is it floating? <laughs> okay then. Oh, I forgot to read the more journal stuff. Oh, here's that lighthouse. That was in the tornado. Well, that experienced tornado, I should say. Now oh, that looks so beautiful. How far did they, like, travel to get here? Or where are we right now? What's happening? There's a deer. I like deer. Do we walk here? Wait, no. I haven't been here in forever. 
But why do I feel like I was just here? Because of that dream, wow. of course. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Wait, where's Chloe? Am I even playing chapter or whatever anymore? Yeah, well, episode one, yeah. Okay. Kate, I've never, I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate March smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, and all the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. I've been extra quiet today and introverted the past couple of weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have, I have to make an effort to talk to her more often. Maybe invite her to tea or movie. Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. And then there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwell Academy, and a total bitch. I hate saying that. I just don't know why somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. 18-year-olds at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show contestants. Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals, I wish her parents could see her in action. They'd cut off the trust fund fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club and they seem to own the school, so maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she has no art in photography. She can even say those French names that break, all, that break my tongue. Work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. She has everything but's in his lap. He keeps his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the everyday heroes contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. Huh. And we got mm, six more. Gotta read more journal stuff, though. I'm just keeping up, you know. Hello. Snooping deeper, I hit the paranoia jackpot. Found a whole mini surveillance setup of Chloe's house with cameras in the halls and some rooms. Truly creepy shit. What kind of uber paranoid puts cameras throughout his own home? Chloe's stepfather, I guess. I see why she's got a serious attitude. When I got back upstairs, I couldn't fix the stupid camera, but Chloe saw the butterfly photo and knew I was in the bathroom and set off the alarm. Her attitude totally changed and she realized that it saved her life. Even though it could have gone the other way, she was so happy like when we were kids. It was great to see her face light up. She even gave me her dad's awesome old Instamatic as a symbol of our reunion. She cranked up the tunes and started dancing on her bed like a maniac. She even got me to shake my booty just a bit. That's when Chloe's stepfather showed up, and it was David Madsen. I had to hide in the closet, and then David came in angry about the music. He was even scared off campus because he didn't have the school around him. He accused Chloe of taking one of his guns. Then shit got real. David found Chloe's joint and flipped it, flipped out on her. She didn't back down and he actually slapped her. Bastard. I thought Chloe would be pissed if I didn't step in to help. But she didn't think it would matter. We decided to get out of there and catch up on our exploring like best friends. Alright. Now where are we headed? I'm just gonna go up. Oh, the squirrel. Oh, cute little squirrel. You and me. Fair contest. I want a picture. You bastard fuck. Better get back here. I need a picture of you. Ow. How do I stop that? Ah, I can't take a picture. Well, I guess that's not the right squirrel. I don't know, man. Oh, there's a bird. Finally, the bird. I thought I had lost I this opportunity. <laughs> but I sure do know some other missed opportunities. I might go back to get them. Oh, I think I didn't take a picture of that sunset though. I totally should be able to. It's so artsy. How can you not? That old fence is part of the landscape now. The path oh, well. leads to the parking lot. They haven't updated this sign since the 1980s. Oh boy. Bottle. People can be such pigs. 
but uh, I feel like these photos were more supposed to be taken around the beginning because you know they're kind of on the side there you know but yeah I'll do a little bonus episode if I have to you know just to show off those because I think I do get a trophy for it I feel like I'm in my nightmare again Oh, Warren. Oh, a beaten up selfie. I owe you things for today. I'll call back later, okay? I swear. No problem, man. You have to. You still have to tell me your big secret. Keck. <laughs> okay. I didn't know what that meant until yesterday. Life is so lucky. They can always escape. But yeah, it's basically lol, except. Not the right letters. Oh, my God. I forgot oh all actually, about no. This. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. <laughs> I don't remember this at all, but it seems like it's been here for a long time. Map. Wowzer. Chloe drew that to mark our tree for us. Awesome. So we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. Campfire graffiti. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Trust no How one. How long has that been here? Haiku. I love haikus. A tree haiku? How pretty. Turn this way now or face the lonely autumn tree and never look back. That's a pretty decent haiku, actually. Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? No clue. Could be a deer. Weird. Those blitz remind me of the wind. The wind down. Hmm. Oh, gorilla! Clearly, the Bigfoot's. Oh, that's not a gorilla. That's a Sasquatch. Excuse me. <laughs> Too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Let's break in. And there's Chloe sitting right there over there. Uh, I should end off here because, well, you know, we're getting overtime. So, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys later.